Hi, my name is Rosie Flores Fallen, and this is discussion post number three um, on chapter uh, 11 and 12 from Curtis and Christian. Um, the discussion was about the biopsychosocial assessment and suicidal risks. Um, really interesting that um, um, someone is, there's 10 times more uh, suicide attempts and there are actual suicides that was new to me um, but ultimately in the end every time someone says I have thoughts of suicide um, a risk assessment also you know always needs to be done um, by asking a client um, if they have a plan if they have intent um, do they have access to a gun in the house uh, whatever that looks like, we need to ask. And if they say they have a plan, we need to actually get, um, you know, consult. Um, consulting is like probably the biggest thing you want to do is consult. Um, um, what I do now, as I am a substance abuse counselor, um, I definitely would take it to the clinician on site. And so she can... Um, provide a risk assessment right then. Um, everything is off the table when it comes to that, that becomes priority. Um, and then she decides whether um, someone either needs a, um, a suicide uh, prevention plan or um, a 5150 needs to be done. So only someone who's trained can do that. Um, interesting how how it's um the cries for help are out there uh we just need to listen and um even starting in our own home so um i really like these chapters um, i'm learning a lot from them and um i am don't know if i'm really looking forward to being trained in 50 and you know being 5150 certified as it that's scary um it's scary but i know it comes it's a part of the job um so i just i'm glad that i'm learning right now thanks